Hey guys, welcome back again to Vlogmas Day 4, 3, 4, I don't know, what number's up there? That one. So today what I wanted to do was make a tiered tray. I have been so excited about this project. I have had all of this stuff for way too long and finally I am here to make it. So what I did was take these stove covers from Dollar Tree and this vase from Dollar Tree. I bought a couple different things. This one seemed to work out the best. It was the skinniest and the um, tallest. It was about a foot tall and I wanted to be able to put enough stuff kind of inside of the tray. So this is the one that I used. I was trying to decide which way to do it. I decided to put the skinnier side down that way I could fit more on the bottom of the tray and that I'd also have a larger base to glue the other tray on. So I don't know why I did this. I'm just trying to find the middle of this cover. I. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, really don't know. I was just using the string to go like that and I was like, oh this would be a really good idea to find the middle and it kind of worked but then my OCD kind of took over and I needed to use a ruler anyway so I kind of mark it with the sticker that was on the bottom of the vase and I go back and measure it with a ruler anyway. <laughs> Both of these covers come in one pack at the Dollar Tree, so this whole tray is made with just $2 in products from the Dollar Tree, and I already had a tube of E6000, and that is the glue that I end up using to glue it all together. They make big tubes of E6000. For whatever reason, I have like three or four of these little tubes. I think I just wanted to try it out when I first bought it and I was afraid that having a big tube, it would kind of dry out and I wouldn't be able to use it and the glue would be stuck in there. But I've never had that problem with these little tubes. So next time I'm gonna go ahead and buy a big tube of this stuff. So I just go ahead and push it down and it's kind of nice because you can still adjust it. You can still kind of slide it where it needs to go. The glue doesn't dry like immediately. Um, so you have some room to kind of work with it. And then I'm just going to do the same for my top stove cover. I'm just going to mark it and find the center and then use that same E6000 and glue it to the top of the vase. Well, it's the bottom of the vase but the top part of the tray. You know what I mean. This was a little tricky because lining up the little X on the bottom of the glass, I'm kind of like looking through the glass to try and line it up and it kind of warps everything. So I just kind of had to like do the best I could and then I don't think I filmed it but I did go back with my ruler and <laughs> measure again to see that it was all centered how it was supposed to be centered. Then I just flip the whole thing over and that's my tray, the bottom tier and the top tier of the tray. So I let that dry and if I was good I would let it dry for a whole day but I'm not so I didn't. <laughs> and I am going to spray paint the whole thing with this off-white color and again if I was good I would wait <laughs> but I didn't. And I just sprayed it again really quickly and let that dry and that's it that's my tray all put together I think it looks so good I kind of put it next to our Keurig to make kind of a little coffee bar but we're not really fancy coffee drinkers we just like make the coffee and then we drink the coffee so I don't really know what is good stuff to put in this little coffee bar tiered thing I put some Dollar Tree poinsettia some pine cones so thanks so much for watching guys as always you can find more from us here Make sure you guys give it a big like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what kind of stuff should I add to our little coffee bar situation. <laughs> Be sure to follow along all through Vlogmas. Bye guys!